With it being Veterans Day in America and Remembrance Day in Canada this week, I thought it would be a good idea to do a story related to a veteran, a metal musician, and the President of the United States. It's not very often that you see a story involving those three figures, but let's talk about it in today's video. It's not abnormal for presidents of the United States to hang out with rock stars or name check them, but it's very rare for them to call out metal musicians or make reference to them. The most metal reference before today's story happened was when President George W. Bush made a reference to Ozzy Osbourne during the 2002 White House Correspondents' Dinner. Of course, Ozzy was in the news a lot because of his show The Osbournes on MTV. Today's story begins with an army captain named Florin Groberg, and Groberg was enlisted in the army and deployed to Afghanistan in 2012 when he nearly lost his life. Leading his soldiers on a mission in Asadabad, Groberg and a six-man security team who were guarding high-ranking American and Afghan officials as part of a weekly meeting were confronted by two men who came speeding around the corner on motorcycles. The whole thing proved to be a diversion as their Afghan soldier counterparts shouted at the men on the motorcycles to stop, which they did and ran away. Suddenly, another man came out from a building nearby, walked backwards, spun around 180 degrees, and walked towards the security detail. Groberg, who was the closest to the man, was unable to see a weapon and couldn't engage the target. Groberg and another soldier, Andrew Mahoney, pushed the man on the ground, trying to throw him as far as they could away from the other soldiers before the man detonated his vest. The blast would seriously injure Groberg and Mahoney, while three American soldiers and a foreign service officer would be killed. Another two dozen soldiers and personnel with the team would survive. Groberg would sustain major injuries to his leg requiring three years of recovery and 33 surgeries just to save it. His act of bravery resulted in him being awarded the Medal of Honor. It was a distinction that up until this point only nine living veterans had received. In the early days of Groberg's recovery from his injuries in Germany, he got a visit from Corn frontman Jonathan Davis. By Groberg's own admission, he thought he was hallucinating in the meeting and couldn't believe the corn singer was visiting him. Davis would be captured visiting wounded veterans in the short film Wounded Warriors, which you can watch on YouTube. I understand you were medevac to Germany, and when you woke up, you thought that the person speaking to you at your bedside, who was a nurse, I understand, or a doctor, you thought that it was the lead singer of corn. <laughs> This is what you thought you were seeing when you woke up. What are the sanitary standards in German hospitals? That would terrify me if I saw that. Did you, you actually thought you were looking at the lead singer of Korn? It was him. It was, it was him. Washington Post, you know, just did a story, and he remembers the day he was doing, a, they were up there in launch stool doing a concert for the Wait, troops. it was the lead singer of Korn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fast forward to 2015 when Groberg received the Medal of Honor during a ceremony at the White House and President Obama name dropped Corn, as you can see here. So today, Flo, I want to assure you, you are not hallucinating. You are actually in the White House. Uh, those cameras are on. I am not the lead singer from Corn. <laughs> Davis, who himself had been an outspoken critic of President Obama, was surprised at the mention telling Rolling Stone magazine he was, and I quote, shocked and taken aback, saying, I was asleep, and then around 6 or 7 in the morning my phone starts going off. I look over and someone just texted me. The president just said your name during this Medal of Honor ceremony. I'm just like, whatever, and went back to sleep. When my phone kept going, I couldn't believe it. It's really cool. The president of the United States gave me props for being there for a Medal of Honor recipient. Groberg went through hell. Regarding his past criticisms of the president, Davis would say, we all have our views on the president. I'm not going to take this moment and make it about that. This is about Captain Groberg. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you again in Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.